Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Selena and today I'll be showing you what I got while I was at holiday in Miami. Always, always dreamt of coming to Miami and like seeing Miami and just like feeling, just like feeling the atmosphere and I've heard so many good things about it. And I finally went there on holiday with like all of my family. And I'm stoked. Like I've always said that I wanted to live in the States at some point right now. I am in Denmark. But after that, I just, my, like my inner passion is just burning so badly right now. I just want to leave immediately. I can't, of course, I don't have the money and I don't have the means and all that. But at some point, I know that I will, like, that I'm going to live there. Mm, I don't know, we'll see in a couple of years. Maybe I'll be filming from Miami and not in here. So uh, let's just jump straight into the video. I have a bunch of beauty products to show you. I'm planning on also doing like a second part of the all the things that I bought. Like I bought some clothing and some beauty products as well that are not like makeup. And I want to show you that as well but I, I think that's going to be in another video because right now I'm just like too excited and I want, just want to show you the makeup. So um, let's jump straight into it. So I want to start off with foundations. I got two different foundations. Um, I got the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I'll leave all of the like shade names and details and all that in the down below if you want to check that out. It says here that it's a lasting glow foundation, never dull and never greasy. I have oily skin and even though this says that it's for uh, normal to dry skin, I found that this works really great with my skin tone as well. So I guess like if you have oily skin and you're like, scared to try this. Um, I just go for it because it works great with my skin. The other foundation that I got is the Ready Set Gorgeous and it's by Covergirl and I've seen a bunch of YouTubers talking about this as well. So I thought like, why not just try it and it photographs so nice. I wore this yesterday and I posted a picture on my Instagram which I will play like popping up right here. And there's no filter, no cover, no anything, no editing involved with that picture and I was just like so stunned but with how beautiful beautiful your photographs. Now for concealers I bought quite a few. I actually have five of them that I want to share with you. I'm gonna just run through them pretty quickly. First one that I got is the Instant Age Rewind. I'm sure you've heard about this. This is amazing. I already had one of these but it was in another shade so I wanted to try this shade as well. The other concealer that I got is the NYX HD concealer. I also have another shade of this one and I really loved it. So I got this one in, I think it was beige, yes, CW04 beige, and the other one that I have, I believe it's in fair or light or something like that, so, but I really like this one as well. One is actually just another stock up that I got, I love these LA Girl concealers, um, but this one I'm actually really sad about because this happened with a few others that I bought, and this is just like super watery, I don't know if you can tell, but that's just like water coming down right there. And it's just not like, it's not the greatest. The fourth concealer is also one that I've heard people raving so much about. And I've been wanting to try it forever, but I just, I couldn't get it to Denmark because um, apparently they don't like sell it here. But it is the Maybelline Fit Me and oh my god, I know now why people are talking so highly of this because it is so good. Like, I was just blown away, like this is one of the best drugstore concealers I've ever tried. I love it. Then this one is the Rimmel Match Perfection, another drugstore concealer and this one is also really really beautiful. If you have really fair skin I recommend you to try this if you have like trouble finding a shade that is light enough for you because this is, this is light, like this is real white and it's in fair light neutral so love this as well. I actually also got another like uh, Pro Girl concealer but this one I got in a real dark shade so that I'd be able to like contour with it. So this one is in the shade Almond and I know I'm gonna love this. I already have this in beautiful bronze as well. And I used it to like contour in one of my recent videos. I'll put the link down below if you wanna check that out. But um, yes, this one I know I'm gonna love. It's just a little bit lighter than the other one that I have. So I love this. Now I wanna move into lip products and I actually only got three different lip products there. I know, it's a shocker. I was also like, what? what have you been doing? Like, what are you doing, Selena? Are you okay? Are you sick? But unfortunately, I already threw one of them away. So this is what I'm left with, like two <laughs> lip products. I have the NYX Liquid Suede. Like, I uh, know you've heard about this. You probably have. Yes, I'm just gonna do a little swatchy swatchy for you. 
So this one is so beautiful. It's like a brown nude and oh my god, it's just, I love it. Like it's so beautiful. I love the formula. I know there's been a lot of controversy. Like people have seen that these are really bad and all, but I really love them, so I guess if you're not into that like suede, like moussey texture, you might not like them, but if you are, I'd recommend that one. So the other one that I have here is an LA Girl High Shine lip gloss. It's with Shea Butter and this one is just like a little bit more red. Like really beautiful as well, as you can tell it is really like high shine. It has a really like, a really weird scent though. I'm not really a fan of it's like sweet kind of cakey but really artificial and I'm not really digging that but the color is so beautiful that I'm just gonna wear it anyway the next thing that I want to talk about are my brow products if you've watched my channel uh, you know that I was using the Anastasia Dear Brow Pomade in medium brown and then like in some weird way it disappeared and it was just like completely gone same happened with my Brow style is plumper, like the one by L'Oreal, like the brow mascara. And they just both like vanished into thin air and I just could not figure out how or when or why. But now I restore like both of them so that I can do like my preferred brow routine again. I just want to quickly go through what I got for my eyes. Um, this one is actually like, I, I noticed that was grabbing towards a lot of the things that I know and I wasn't really branching out too much but I guess that's uh, what you get for being like just a little uh, on a low budget you don't want to buy something that you're not going to love you know so I bought the Lash Sensational once again wait a second this one is a dry one this one I also lost a long time ago and now I bought like the exact same one but pro waterproof version and this is not waterproof and it looks like my old one and now I can't find the new one. This is really messed up. Anyhow, I, I was supposed to get, um, I got a new one and I don't know where it is in the like the last sensational by Maybelline. I don't understand. Oh, well. Anyway, let's just move on. So I also got the Ulta Liquid Liner. And I've been looking for a liquid liner that has that has this, like, that has this applicator, like, um, not anything too stiff. I like it being just, like, super wobbly and thin so I can make a good line. This one dries really matte and it's super black. So I also really like this, I'm really excited about it. Now for bronzer, I got two different ones. I got one by Essence, it is called Sun Club and it is huge, like huge. And it smells like coconut. One of our really good friends had this. She bought it when we were in Berlin together and I've been wanting it ever since when I saw it in the store, just like, I gotta have it. So that one I got and then I grabbed from NYX the matte bronzer and this one is in deep tan. I feel like it's such a beautiful shade even though it is a little bit dark. I also bought one blush and this is from Makeup Revolution and it's called the Matte Blush. This one is in the shade Fusion and I feel like it is so gorgeous. Like It's just like this really cool pink. Um, it is really pigmented though so you have to be careful when you dip your brush in it. It is really like powdery so whenever you dip your brush in it there's going to be some fallout but I don't mind because this shade is so beautiful and it glides on really smoothly. Definitely a good buy as well. Another thing that I got was this Halo Luminizer. I bought it in H&M and this is in the shade Champagne Gold. And let me just let me just do this for you because I did not expect much from H&M products. But do you see that? Like I was wearing it on my cheeks. I would also try to like blend it in with my foundation and it is so beautiful and it was also really really cheap let me just like try and blend that out like i would do on my cheek like that glow is so gorgeous i'm so stoked about this i should have bought more i didn't think of why didn't i think of that now that we're almost coming towards the end i just have two palettes i have to share with you 
Um, these are not new or anything, they're new to me of course because I just got them. The first one is the Lorac Unsip Palette. It looks like this and I've been wearing this ever since that I got home. I've been mixing it with the other palette that I'm about to show you. I looked at it online, like I've seen it a bunch of times online and I was just like, meh. I wasn't really like a fan of it, I wasn't going to buy it or anything. But then I went to Ulta and I stood in a store and I was looking at it and I was just like mesmerised. Like, oh my god, this is actually so beautiful. Let me just... Let me just swatch them like this. Like, they are so cool. Oh, let me just not blind you with the mirror. To me, they're just so good. And if you pair it up with the little, like, I got the mini sized, like, primer test primer tester they just last so long in your lids and they look so beautiful so I'm definitely a huge huge fan the other one that I got is the Lorac Pro 2 I bet you've seen this also and I just I just had to buy it again like it was just talking to me the one shade that really drew me in was like this like this navy one that's right here I'm gonna do this silver one here and the cool grey like all super gorgeous so pigmented like oh my god I love it I love it I love it I love it that was the that was the last thing that I got like makeup wise I don't know I've been looking a little sloppy today I'm not wearing makeup and I'm literally like still in my pajamas so it's alright I'm on vacation like summer break thank god I just want to enjoy every minute of it and I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing vacation, holiday, whatever you call it. Like. And I feel like you should go check out my Instagram if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Snapchat and Twitter. I don't really tweet too much, so it's just like mainly Snapchat and Instagram. You'll find all the links and stuff in the next clip and I will also be linking them down below and whatever you can find them in my, yeah, yeah, you know the deal. So hopefully I'll see you in my next video. If not, sure. You do you. If I am, I'll be waiting. I'll see you. Bye. I was planning on doing, I'm like planning. If you like, watch me. Oh my god, I have something in my eye. Oh god.